Hi, I'm Allie, the editor of The Runner, and here's what you can expect from our latest issue. KDOX, the annual documentary film festival run by KPU instructors, has been canceled for this year. It'll be back again in 2020, but had to be dropped due to personal circumstances of its founder, Janice Morris. I talked to Janice about what led to the cancellation of 2019's event, and what students can still expect from KDOX over the next few months. For instance, there will be a screening of two films on Valentine's Day, and the team is expanding its outreach now more than ever. This week, I spoke with Kwan Student Association President Kayla McCutcheon, who says that the KSA is planning on hosting a referendum in February, which will ask students if they wish to join the Canadian Alliance of Student Associations. The Canadian Alliance of Student Associations, or CASA, is a national organization of student unions that advocates for student rights and issues to the federal government. In the past, CASA has published policy papers on a variety of different topics. These topics range from campus sexual assault policies, to copyright and open education resources, to the gaps in support for Canadian international students. McCutcheon says that joining CASA will help future KPU students connect with the federal government in order to have their voices heard when it comes to making national policy. In this issue of The Runner, I interviewed Tara Travis, Jason McDonald, and Andrew Bailey on their anthology series called Phantom Signal. The live production satirizes classic horror tropes and is as self-aware as it is hilarious. Catch Phantom Signal for only $10 at Havana Theater on October 31st at 10 p.m. or check out phantomsignal.com for more upcoming shows. Keep an eye out for the October 16th issue hitting the stands on KPU campuses this Tuesday. You can read these stories and others like them in print or online at runnermag.ca.